Mike Mark show. and Mike show. It's and the new edition of the Mike and Mark show with James. Thanks. Dude, we're going to do this. MJ. We're going to do go. this. Do you it. ready? Ready, go. All right. This is the Mike and Mark show and James tonight. We're at Blackthorn 51. And James is going to interview us about... Where you're from. And what, what, what's the interview about? From. Um, what's, 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 what's the book about? Um, rock and roll. Sorry. Rock and roll. Okay. okay. All right. So far away, man. Ready. Hit it. Where are you from? Well, I was born in Newark, New Jersey, and I still live in Union, New Jersey right now. And how about Mark? I'm from New Bedford, Massachusetts, and uh, I'm still there. <laughs> All right. First instrument. What was your first instrument? Well, my first instrument and only instrument was the bass guitar. Yes. And um, I started playing when I was 13 years old. And uh, the first thing I did when I started playing is I tried to learn every Kiss song that they had up to that time. That's where you went wrong. That was a big mistake. <laughs> but um, it's where, it worked where you messed out. up, man. It worked. <laughs> but, you know, I get it. 13. <laughs> So, and uh, how about you? Do you play an instrument? No. I'm gonna play. I'm learning how to play the guitar, though. Nah, you wanna sing, dude? Get all the chicks. What was your father? What was your father? What was he? A singer, I guess. First a bass player and then a singer because we need. They kept changing the drinking age. Uh -huh. And we found a bass player with a station wagon. There you go. True. Smart move. <laughs> Smart move. My first instrument was the drums. Whoa! Yeah. But um, I didn't like being in the back. Um, I wrote all the tunes even back then, and I had. To, and then I said, "The hell with this! I'm going to go out in the front and sing." And here I am. So, yeah, that's what happens. And we do get all the chicks by the way. First song. First song. You learned. The first song I ever learned. That's a very interesting question. All right, I'm gonna go back. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking. The first song I ever learned was from the first Kiss album. The song Firehouse. And um, I was all proud of myself, and you know, I would like show my mother and my father. So uh, that was my first song. <laughs> Mine? Can you remember? All right, it's almost embarrassing. But it was the first time I ever, the first song I had to learn because it was for a, a talent show in sixth grade. Mm. It was Taken on the Run by Ario Speedway. Nice. That's a great right? song. I had the option to do Kiss. But I didn't. He did. So probably was way cooler than REO Speedwagon. We will admit. I will admit. But yeah, that was the that was the thing, man. I think I did it to impress a girl in the sixth grade too. See they make it easy. You have you have have you have you have you you never experienced anything like that, right? You don't like girls yet? You don't really like girls. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. You should you, you like girls. It's coming. Yeah, you're coming. You're looking at them. You hang out with all of them. You hang, you hang out with them. Oh he's slick! He's got That's the twins. Best way to do it. He's got Hang twins. Out with them first, man. <laughs> Hang out with them first, and they become your friend. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Who's your influence? Well, um, when I started learning all the Kiss songs, my first influence was Gene Simmons, bass player from Kiss. And then I started to listen to some other bands like Black Sabbath and uh, Man of War and Iron Maiden. And I, and I was influenced by all those bass players. Um, and then as I got older, I started to be influenced by even some guitar players. So um, I put all those together and then I came out with my own style. He's pretty good too. <laughs> Mine? Uh, that's easy. Iron Maiden, 100%, 1000%. I was 12, watching MTV, saw Iron Maiden, and I was like, that's it right there. So, and it hasn't changed. It's my favorite all time, biggest influence in music and life, pretty much. Love it. Favorite animal? Great question. <laughs> 
My favorite Ooh, that's animal. that's a tough one. My favorite I animal. I have several. You know, I, I go back and forth. Is a shark an animal? Yeah, of course it, it counts. Is. Okay. It is, okay. You know what? Tigers, too. Nice. I like a nice tiger. A tiger shark? A nice tiger. How about a tiger shark? Yeah, there you tiger go. Tiger shark. Oh, <laughs> that's right. A tiger shark, buddy. Right. My favorite animal is a sloth. <laughs> yep, he's right. I love sloths, man. All right. Dogs, though, my all-time favorite. But but it's like, yeah, sloths. You know why I like sloths? Because they don't give a, you know what? They don't like care. the honey badger. They don't care. <laughs> no, they're way cooler than honey badgers because you know why? They don't do anything. Honey badgers are assholes. <laughs> Sloths aren't assholes. In fact, here's some interesting research about sloths that even make them cooler. They used to think that sloths slept all the time. But they only studied them in captivity. So they couldn't do anything. So they slept for like 20 hours a day. But when they studied a sloth in its natural habitat, it actually only slept 8 hours a day and spent the rest of its day, the males, circling its perimeter looking for mates. Wow. So that's what they do. They eat mate and sleep and they only go to the bathroom once every seven days there you go so as far as i'm concerned that's pretty badass they got a mate so there you go okay you don't need any help you're gonna just you're at the answer favorite food <laughs> you, know, yours is pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you know i go back and forth sometimes my favorite food is a hamburger and then other times it's spaghetti and meatballs. How about you? French fries. Oh, I like French fries. Wait a second, I gotta backtrack. What's your favorite animal? Giraffe. Giraffe! Great giraffe story. We can fed a giraffe what? once and it's their tongues are so long they're wrapped around my hand. Freak me out. I know, I just had two last week. Wild, right? Totally wild. Who got the giraffe tongue, you know? And then, hey, wrapped around her arm. Yeah, dude, I was that freaking, totally right? The but it was cool. But it was freaking, right? Who's your musical influence? Rich Scarlet. Really? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, that's yeah. old school. Yeah, yeah, that's that's who we like. Musician, right? We, well, he lives near us. We Does see he? him a lot. Yep. Oh, I. We, we see him quite a bit. Mm -hmm. that's cool. So yeah, my favorite food is pizza. Nice. Pizza. -er. Pizza. -er. And I've had pizza all over the world. And I've been very disappointed. Did you like roses? I know John took it. I like it. it. I like very it, but good. I, 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 I'm gonna say. I know your favorite. I saw it. My favorite is still at home. I got you. Hot Rafa's. Fair in enough. The house. But roses is good. I've yet to have anybody top them from the top. You know what I mean? All right. But, Fair uh, enough. I love pizza, man. Even a bad pizza, I'll still eat it. I'll bitch about it later, but I'll still eat it. <laughs> yeah, we liked you. We, that's how we, we started following you when you were doing the pizza reviews all over the place. You Every stop you made, you ate pizza. Yeah. The, I think the weirdest thing ever was the, the pizza we got in Romania. We're like, oh, it, on the ride of the pizza is only it's cheese pizza. I'm like, I told, I was, it's the only thing I ever asked for. I'm like, can I just get a after show pizza? A cheese, simplest thing you could think of. What did we get in Romania? It was a pizza with, they had corn on it. Oh, yeah. that's really weird. I ate it though, <laughs> but it was weird. What's your favorite food? French fries. <laughs> you said that. Yep. I have to ask twice. I'm Don't worry. Home. No worries. What do you like on your French fries? Do you like ketchup or, ma or mayonnaise? Ketchup. Yeah, oh, what did what did what did you try in Canada? A poutine. Poutine is great though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. I like that. That's no. Not poutine. No, poutine. you gotta say it right. <laughs> I said it wrong. I said it like I was Ted Nugent when I was ordering. Poutine. And it came out poutine tang. And the lady looked at me like, all right. Are you talking about my thing? <laughs> Are you ordering that in front Are of your you family? <laughs> that in front of your family? How dare you, you weirdo. You got one more. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite part about playing live in? Favorite part about playing live. In New York. Well, my favorite part about playing live is the, uh, the reaction you get from the fans. 
were watching you play the music. That's it. I don't. <laughs> but um, the fans will sing your songs and they'll throw their hands in the air. It makes you feel really good. What do I like about it? Yeah, I don't have any fans, so I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it. Yeah, but it's, it's the re oh, in all actuality. But all kidding aside, yeah, it's, the, it's definitely the show is always um, uh, a symbiotic thing when it has to do with the crowd. The better the crowd reacts, uh, the better it is. You know what I mean? There's nothing worse than playing in front of people and just doing this. You know, they can still be into it, but they, if the, if there's an interaction. It's the best show. It's the best thing to us. Which, to this day, I think the best interaction we've had so far was in Athens. Oh, that was a that very was, memorable. That show. was amazing. Yeah. Um, I never have seen a crowd sing that loud. Where to the point wow. they were singing louder than the PA system, and I pulled out my in air, and I was like, I remember looking at you going, Wow. <laughs> Wow, and um, that was definitely the most memorable show of the whole tour so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Very good. And that's it. Man. Thank you, man. Good luck at whacking, guys. Thanks, You're heading there. When are you leaving? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday morning, man. That's got to be an honor, though. Well, it was He's great. already played it. So. It's great interviewing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, fellas.